for watching Summit Sunrise this morning. I'm Lauren. I am now joined by Coach Jesse of the Breckenridge Bucks. We're hanging out at Mountain Goat Clothing Company here in Breckenridge on Main Street. Definitely need to check it out. They have everything from bathing suits to jackets, dresses. I'm only looking at the women's side. Um, they have a lot of great stuff for men as well. Um, yeah, definitely come check it out. Mountain Goat Clothing Company here in Breckenridge. So, Coach Jesse, how are you today? I am great. How are you today? I am great. So, your season's over. Yeah. But tell me a little bit about the Breckenridge Bucks and how the season went. Well, the season went pretty good for us. Uh, we started out a little slow, but uh, we wound up in third place overall, which is pretty good out of six teams. And uh, the guys grew uh, not just as hockey players, but as individuals and uh, within the community and stuff. So we're just uh, real happy the season is over. Uh, it was a lot of work, but, uh, you know, the, uh, the success that we had, uh, we have nothing but smiles and, and gratitude for everybody that helped us out. Yeah, so um, when's your next season start? Uh, we'll start up, uh, we'll have a little training camp in August, and then um, the guys will report um, for, you know, for practice probably around September. We'll play some exhibition games, and then our regular season starts in October. So during this break, um, what are you doing? Are you going around the country trying to find new people? Yeah, that's, uh, that's just getting ready to get geared up here. Um, we have a few, uh, few people that we work with that we can kind of call scouts or bird dogs that are, have already been out there through the year, but right now, uh, there's a lot of spring and summer showcases that'll start kicking up, a lot of hockey schools, things like that. So we'll be running around uh, looking at players. We already have talked to quite a few. Um, so I got to get out there and, and uh, see them a little bit. And, uh, and we just got to fill in some of the holes for the guys that are leaving. Um, you know, some guys are moving on now to college hockey or maybe a higher level of junior. So, you know, we have we do have some guys coming back, so we're not starting completely from scratch like we were last year. But we still got to fill some holes, and uh, hopefully we can put together a club and have a successful season like we did this year. That must be so exciting to be able to watch some of these guys. Like, not only you said they grew as players, they also grew as men. That must be so yeah. exciting for you. <laughs> yeah, you know, like I think I've said it before, sometimes you're not you're not just a hockey coach. You're a dad sometimes. You're a friend sometimes. So it's uh, it's pretty neat just creating these relationships with these guys and uh and I mean, there's guys I've been coaching for 15, 16 years. There's guys I still talk to that I coached 10 years ago, you know, and they're they got families now and they're doing their own thing. So these relationships will will stick together for quite a while. Quite that, a while. That's so wonderful, yeah. especially since you're kind quasi new to the town. These guys are kind of new. They don't know. I know that we had we had to find them housing and yeah. things like that. So it's it's great to kind of form a family, especially when. You guys are kind of new to this new oh, yeah. atmosphere. Yeah, except, and, and that uh, going back to the housing thing, you know, the these kids come in and they live with these families, and they basically adopt them for you know the, the six, seven months that they're here, and they become their new mom, new dad, and those relationships go on forever too. Yeah. So that's kind of neat, and uh, especially if they have. Um, you know, if a kid in the, in, in the house, you know, now they have a new little brother and they might have never had a little brother and the yeah. little brother never had a big brother. So that's kind of cool. And, and uh, those relationships just go on and on and on. So it's, it's more than hockey. It's really more than hockey. And it's a lot of fun. And I think even just in the town, like Summit County is pretty small. You see, you re start to recognize the players, start to yeah. recognize the coach. Like, like you said, little kids are probably like, Hey, I saw you play hockey yeah. the other week. And it's, it's, it's fun. Yeah, it's neat. And you know, it's something I tell our guys, Hey, when you're walking down the street, you know, people do know who you are. So make sure, you know, <laughs> you're wearing your logo and all that stuff, you know, make sure you're acting right. And, you know, people do look up to you, especially the kid, you know, the little kids. So um, you're a part of the community and uh, everybody loves you. So yeah. just remember who you are when you're out there. For sure. So Coach Jesse, I know that the season is over, but next season is coming up. If somebody still wants to find out information about the Breckenridge Bucks, how can they find out more? Yeah, go right to our website, BreckenridgeBucks.com. Um, there are a few uh, things that we are probably going to do through the summer. So you know, we'll keep everything updated and uh, just check out our social media, our Twitter, our Facebook, that kind of stuff. But uh, BreckenridgeBucks.com, uh, best spot to go. Cool. Well, Coach Jesse, thank you so much for thank joining us. Are. Thank you guys for watching Summit Sunrise this morning. That pretty much wraps things up for us here in Breckenridge and for Justine over in the studio. Make sure you tune in again tomorrow morning at 730. Um, yeah, get out there, hit the slopes, have a great day, and thanks for watching.